Welcome back to Jason Reviews, and today I have a special comparison videos between two of the Jador lores. Let's get into it. Starting off with the boxes, they are about 7 inches tall, and their widths do change. They are about the same length overall, but each one has a different opening mechanism. They are about the same color, light white hue, not an off-white, with the gold highlights. And then this one has a take-off cover to display the Jador lore. In terms of branding, the Jador lore is very similar on both with the golden highlights. All the information though is in different spots. So of course on the very front of the box it shows the ounces. The new one is the 1.7, the older one is the 1.3 fluid ounces and then all the information can be found on the back of that box where on the new one it can be found on the bottom of the box getting into the separate boxes itself this is the old formulation box i do like how this one has the open up cover compared to the other one where it just slides off and the top of the new one does have the christian dior logo where the old one does have the plate that just says dior to open up the older box, you just pull off the face plate and it reveals the signature tissue paper. I do like how Dior is imprinted on the back of that. And there is a little card in there. This is sealed, so I'm not sure what this is, but I am not so comfortable opening it since that one is not made anymore. And on the newer one, it comes with like a display case, so to speak, and you just slide that right off. It's got the foam in there for the glass bulb of the necklace and you can technically leave the Jador lore for the newer version on this stand. In my opinion both of the boxes do have benefits but let's look at the bottles themselves. In terms of height they're relatively the same the newer version is slightly taller and that's just because that glass ball is a little bit bigger and both of the necklaces on each of them are different I do like how the ounces are a little bit different on the older version. There is more glass at the bottom. This one is a 1.3 fluid ounce and the bottom of it there's the sticker. And so there's a little bit more glass, gives it more of a teardrop shape. I do really love the necklace on the older version. There is a little bit more detail, but again, I've never really had any of the Jador perfumes, so I could be a little bias due to that fact and then on both of the sides there is a line that kind of follows up but again they are absolutely stunning i do like how on the older one this one it does look more of a like a stacked necklaces and of course you have the jador at the very top when opening this fragrance it is absolutely strong it consists of vanilla amber white floral rose sweet floral balsamic and some warm and spicy notes I do like how part of the necklace does stay on the bottle and looking at the rest of the cap detached I do love the necklace on this one and the top of it looks and the CDR underneath this cap you just can't really see it that good here in my opinion this seal is stronger in terms of the bottle size I do like the new one there's less glass here at the bottom and where the liquid is held it looks more like a sphere the signature Dior bulb at the top is a little bit bigger and the necklace looks very stunning with the melting aspect. Again, I love how this perfectly fits into the box so you could actually display it on that little stand. Once popping it off, I do like how the entire neck of the perfume comes off so it kind of just looks like a sphere and this one is a little bit stronger with some orange blossom, some jasmine and some rose absolute. And here's the necklace of the perfume off, so it's got a pretty strong seal and inside it you can actually see the gold part. So it doesn't completely seal, but you can move it around when it's on there just to align it perfectly with the bottle. My overall review, I do love how both of these smell, they're not very different from each other and they look slightly different as well. I do prefer the original formulation. And I do like the look of both of the bottles. I kind of skew toward the newer one a little bit more, but I don't necessarily like Jasmine or the Rose Absolute in there. It makes it smell overly concentrated, where I prefer the other one is a little bit more fresh. 
I do think both of these are definitely a must-have within your Jador collection, but for me personally, I would prefer the older version, but I do like the newer one. It does have its aspects. I just feel it's too concentrated. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope that you would please give a like and subscribe for more content. I do have videos coming out every so often. Please let me know in the comments what you think of both of the Jador lores and which one you would prefer. I can't wait to see you in the next video.